think there are definite differences on the hospital end of things uh, as a patient goes through SuperPath. I've been able to incorporate this now into the outpatient setting and we're doing SuperPath hips uh, at our ambulatory surgery center now, which I think would be very difficult to do with more traditional approaches. And so the whole concept of rapid recovery is, is not just about how quickly can I get back to a particular activity, but how long am I staying in the hospital? And for those patients that are in the ambulatory surgery center, that means no hospital stay at all, which is fantastic for a lot of patients who are really trying to avoid needing to be in the hospital overnight. And those who are done in the hospital stay typically one night, two at most, uh, whereas that was typically a two to four day stay for more traditional approaches. The likelihood of going home after this operation is more likely than any of the other surgical procedures that we use at our hospital, and it has been for a long time but it's at least 98% of patients go home, and that includes some rather senior and infirmed people. So typically people that would go to rehab would be multiple joint replacements or mental status uh, uh, issues or cognitive problems preoperatively or very challenging physical situations at home without help. Uh, but generally, people can go home without any trouble. In my hands, a uh, vast majority of our patients, I think over 94% of our patients, end up uh, leaving the hospital within, within uh, 24 hours or 23 hours. And they go straight home with no home health, no home physical therapy. And they start outpatient physical therapy about uh, five days to uh, eight days after surgery. Um, and during that time frame, they're meant to be independent. You know, they're able to get up, they're able to walk on their own, they're able to shower, they're able to dress themselves, you know, make themselves um, uh, food. And if they're not on narcotics, they're able to drive. My patients do quite well. And um, many, of my, many of my colleagues ask or they think, you know, oh, you're kicking your patients out of the hospital. How are you getting them out so soon? So much of this is patient expectation. And I tell all of my patients, you're allowed to stay as long as you want in the hospital. My job is not to get you out of the hospital sooner. My job is not to kick you out. My job is to get you ready to leave. And so um, I have patients that come to the hospital with a suitcase, and they say, you know, I'm ready to stay. I'm ready to go to rehab, and I'm able to surprise them. And that's the fun part of it, is to do the surgery in a way that empowers the patient to get better on their own terms. Now, how, what do I do for post-operative regimens? I mean, we're using only oral pain medication. We're not using a, a local injection in the hip or any sort of pain block. Uh, we're not using any sort of uh, heavy IV narcotics. We're not giving them long-acting opiates after surgery. And I've stopped giving GABA agonists. Really, all I'm doing is giving them Tylenol uh, and uh, some sort of anti-inflammatory and as um, aspirin for, um, for blood clot prevention, if, if it makes sense for them, and a breakthrough opiate. Um, and, and that's really, really the main thing that I'm doing. Uh, for SuperPath, the most exciting part of this technique is the patients going home the same day. We're turning this operation into an outpatient procedure. ACLs used to be done in the hospital. They'd stay two weeks. Now they're done in the outpatient surgery setting, and they go home the same day. A hip replacement is going outpatient. Most of my hips that I'm doing now are outpatient. The final recommendation will be when Medicare states that we can do these as an outpatient. And I think we're going to get there if we continue to produce consistent results amongst surgeons.